recording, listen to what I'm going to tell you. We're not talking two years ago. I was in a homeless shelter on October the 28th of last year, five months ago. I had absolutely nothing, not years ago, five months ago. I'm living at my sister's house, and Ben turns on the system on December the 13th. We went to work, take the free tour, take the free tour, take the free tour. People started joining. Many people didn't. It was a crazy experience because we were getting beat up all over the Internet. The company's never going to last. The company's illegal. The company's a Ponzi scheme. They can't pay out on memberships. They're using white label products. Ben Glintz is not going to sit. He's going to sell the company. He's not going to be around for the long term. And basically, Tim Miller, you suck. OK. But we kept going. Keep sharing. Keep sharing. Keep sharing. Some came aboard. Some didn't. But guess what? This company changed my life. You see, when we launched this thing on December the 13th, the next thing I know, I'm starting to get these weekly checks. They started out averaging about $1,000 a week. Now, I go from homeless to $1,000 a week the first couple of weeks because, mind you, there's no matrix money. There's no matrix money. You don't get paid on the matrix to the second month anyways. There's no generational matches. None of that stuff, guys. None of it. All we had was I understood that I get 25. Now, remember, I have nothing. But I can get $25 on every person I enroll, and I get nine levels of pay on fast starts. Focus on the focus, Tim. Focus on the focus. I'm not in the best situation. My sister goes to sleep at 9 o'clock at night and cuts off the lights, and I can't have the TV. I'm going crazy because that's not how I live my life. But I have to live by her rules. I'm in her house. I'm a grown man. I'll be 55 this year. But you know what? I would get on that cell phone when that TV got cut off and them lights went out. And I'd be on that cell phone the rest of the night, take the free tour, post it on Facebook. Some of you have been following me a long time. You saw my post. See my post. And you know what? Those checks started coming first week. Thousand dollars. Next week, thousand dollars. Got our first residual check. It was about nine hundred bucks. But guess what? I made just enough to move out my sister's house. That was the best feeling in the world, and I literally moved into an extended stay hotel. But I was no long, longer under her roof. I was on my own. I can eat DoorDash. I can do whatever I have to do. All I need is this Android phone and internet connection. Leave me alone. Get out my way. Take the free tour. Posting, 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 posting. For the last four months, folks, I have been living in an extended stay hotel. Right now, as I talk to each and every one of you, I am in an extended stay hotel. Now, the goal is to be out of here in the 1st of June. But let me tell you what's happened in four months, I've gone from literally homeless to my sister's house to living in an extended hotel. And Ben said it's on the call yesterday. I'm approaching $100,000 a month. That's $1.2 million per year. And we're only five months old understand why i don't listen to excuses i mean there, there's just no excuse guys when you, if you really understand but yeah the first time i, I ran in this industry I, I did it to just try to prove a point to my dad who you know <laughs> i come from a very educated background all i mean phds was the thing in my household and i'm the college i'm the i'm the high school dropout and i was playing around in this industry and i just wanted to prove a point that it actually worked and that was my my that was my why back then my second run was really for the for the money, okay? And um, made a lot of money in this industry, buying stupid toys, making stupid decisions, just doing stupid stuff. And uh, some of you been on